Uh, right, so for today's class, um, you will have two ellipse questions to do. The first one here now is a rugby ball, and the rugby ball is set at 60 degrees, so you're going to have to turn the whole concentric circles method 60 degrees kind of sideways, so you can do the rugby ball. I'm also going to show you the, the two focal points of an ellipse, which are very important as you move on with ellipses, as it'll help you find a tangent to an ellipse. Sometimes you're given two focal points and you have to try and find the major minor axis, so the focal points are very important. I'm going to show you how to find the focal points when you do have the major minor axis and then you also have the wine question as well or sorry the wine glass question as well um to do so you have the two questions to do um for homework and upload them and i'll uh, correct them then and uh, give you feedback on them so we're going to look at the rugby ball as you can see the length of the major axis is 130 the length of the minor axis is 90 so the radius is half of them to draw major and minor circles and um the lines are going through at 60 degrees so I'm just going to draw up a line here now at 60 degrees. I'm going to just draw up a line here at 60 degrees. And measure across 130. One thirty and half a 70, or sorry, 65. Five. I'm just going to draw in the major circle then. So that there now is my major circle drawn in for the ellipse. So then we know the minor circle then is ha is uh, ninety millimeters long. So we're going to set the compass to forty five, which is half it. So I'll set the compass there to half it, 45, and that there now is our minor axis drawn in. Um, so we have our major axis here going across this line. Um, and then, as you know then as well, the minor axis is the perpendicular bisector. So it's a perpendicular, uh, 90 degrees, bisector, bisection and a half. So we're going to come across here at 30 degrees to give us the line for the minor axis. So now we need to divide this up into 60 and 30 and it's a bit more difficult now as it's not, let's say, it's not 90 degrees or it's not vertical or it's not horizontal, it's at 60 degrees. So really what you could do now, which would be a big help, was come over here to the side and put in a line at 60 degrees anywhere at all and this will help you put your 45 degree set square on this line and that will allow you to sit your your compass or sorry your your 60 30 degree set square and allow you to get perfect 60 30 degree lines that's what i'm going to do now here as this will help me That's um I've I've one more to do. Yeah, I have do have one more to do actually here now. So this now is my circle divided up into sixty and thirty. Again as usual, as we have our bottom points of the major axis, left and right, we have our two points at the top of the and bottom of the minor axis. And same thing again now only that's at 60 degrees, we're bringing our lines, the lines that hit the major circle, the bigger circle, we're going to bring them towards the major axis, straight down, perpendicular to it, we're going to bring them perpendicular to the major axis. So all we have to do now here is set the compass at 30 degrees, as we know that's perpendicular to these lines, so bring these down 30, 30, 30, Oh yeah, and this line here as well. I got confused there for a second. And bring down these lines here as well at 30. And then again, we're going to bring across our lines in that touch the, the minor circle. Bring them out until they hit the lines coming down. So same thing again. So bring these out. So we have our points then 
for one side of our rugby ball and then we same again then bottom here And same again up the top. And then we have all our points into our ellipse. And I'm just going to draw that in. Sketch it in heavy again. Or light with the two H pencil. And then go across then with one full straight HB line. So I'm just going to draw in this now. And again as I always say. Make sure to round between the points. Don't go have a straight line between the points. Make sure you round around it. Make that oval kind of a shape. So that is the rugby ball sketched in lightly. I'm going to go across it now with a HB pencil and try and get it in one straight continuous line. Hitting, hitting all the points. I made a mistake here myself. Hitting all the points. And if you need to stop, try and stop at a point as you can kind of, you can kind of, see if I stop at a point here, you can make a big circle which will kind of hide that you have stopped for a second. It'll hide it from the examiner. So that there now is the rugby ball done. And I'm just going to put in the major and minor axis in heavy. Just to show you this a small bit better now. So this is the major axis. This big long line here now is the is the major axis. It's the major axis. And then this line down here then is the minor axis. Then to find the vocal points, and I want you to conclude this in your drawing, half the major axis. So half the major axis. And then we're going to put it, you can put it at the top or you can put it at the bottom of the minor axis. And then I want you to scribe two arcs. Either side of the minor axis on the major axis. Scribe two arcs on the major axis. The vocal points are always on the major axis, the longest line in the ellipse. And scribe two arcs either side of the minor axis. And that's giving you two points there now. And they, that there now is my focal points. And I will talk about these more detail um, with you later on in the chapter. But that there now is my focal point one, and that there now is the, my focal point two. So I want you to include that in your drawing as well. So I know that you're watching the video, and I, and I want you to to understand how you get it so set your compass to half the major axis put it at the top of the minor or the bottom of the minor wherever you want and just scribe two points and that'll give you your two focal points so then you also have then you also have the the wine glass question same thing again you have an ellipse here concentric circles method ellipse here and then just finish off the bottom of the wine glass and you just have them two questions to do for the duration of the class and that's it perfect thank you